Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're here for the first time. I hope you're going to enjoy this video. We have another problem for Adobe in this one. It's another pretty easy problem. And when I first read that I was thinking, okay, I guess I could explain this one with recursion. Although in my humble opinion, I don't know if this is the best you, uh, the best way to solve it using recursion. I think it's, it's better to just use a while loop. But immediately as I decided I shouldn't do it with recursion, uh, I was looking at these tags and I see it says recursion. Uh, so I guess I, I'll end up doing, uh, explaining with using recursion, right? And it says create a function that takes a number as an argument then it says add up all the numbers from 1 to the number you pass to the function for example if the input is 4 then your function should return 10 because 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 so the sum of all the numbers from 1 to that number it is 10 right and it says expect any positive number between 1 and 1000 okay let's copy the starting function and like I said, we are going to use recursion. And what recursion means is basically a function that keeps calling itself up uh, as a certain number of times until a condition is met. So it keeps calling itself until some condition is met and then it doesn't call himself anymore and it stops. And then basically all the ways go back to the first function that was called. Basically all when the function the first function is called it's calling and then it's calling itself so it adds another uh, another uh, call to the function in the uh, in the event loop and then another one and then another one and then another one as it keeps calling and basically it makes a stack in, in the stack in the JavaScript stack right uh, callback stack basically it uh, keeps growing until it doesn't call itself anymore and then when the last function is resolved then it disappears and it sends its value to the next one and they keep going out until the first one and then the the first one then returns as well right so the way we're going to do that we're going to say something like this we're going to, uh, going to say um return and we're going to say num equals one so if num is one we just want to return one but if it's not one, then we want to return add, add up of num minus one, right? So what's going to happen here is we, we are saying if, if this is one, just return one because we don't want to go lower than one as you, as you remember is from, uh, is starting from one to, to the number that we given. But if the number is um, if the number is um, no, actually I think we need yeah we need num plus yeah we need num plus add up num minus one right? Is it? What am I missing here? Num plus yeah yeah that, that's true yeah so basically if it's one we're returning one if not we're returning num whatever the number is basically if the number is four we're returning four plus add up of three and basically we're making the sum going from the 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 number that we're starting and we keep going three two and when it's one one returns one and then it keeps adding up all so basically we're starting from from here like this and we end up here when one returns one which is basically then is added to this one to this one and this one right so uh, again this is a ternary operator what i'm using here i'm saying if num equals one uh then return one as uh, return num plus add up num minus one right so let's check this out sorry about that put this here why is this taking so long i, I have no idea i shouldn't take that long i think it's testing a lot of values as you can see it's working so again let's make let's let, let me explain it one more basically 
if num equals 1, we're returning 1 because we don't need to go any lower than 1. But if num is higher than 1, then we return num plus add up of num minus 1. So what's going on? Let's let's say we call add up, add up of 4. What's going on? What's going on in this function? What's going to happen? What's going to happen is gonna say num uh, num equals one. No, because it's four. It's not one. So then we're not returning one. We're re returning num plus add up of num minus one. So basically, we're saying return four plus add up of three. So basically we're having 4 plus add up or t, which add up or t is, again, 3 is not equal to 1, so it basically returns 3 plus add up of 2, which is 3 minus 1. Again, is 2 equal 1? No, so it doesn't return 1, it returns... Um, uh, it, it returns uh, num plus add up of num minus 1 so again it returns num which is 2 plus add up of 1 right and uh, now in add up of 1 is 1 equal 1 yes so it returns 1 so here it returns 1 and that's how we get the sum of all the numbers basically it keeps going from the first mm -hmm. one mm -hmm. down to down to 1 and I think this could be written even shorter maybe uh, but I'm, I'm not going to like um, mess about with it here because this this is pretty short so I hope you understand how this works and if you learn something do, do leave a like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed it does help with the YouTube algorithm and it does help me to want to make more of this video alright I'll see you next time bye bye